In this video, I'm going to be working with the Pythagorean theorem, typically written as a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or written in these versions with square root symbols in them. This is h squared minus, that's also h squared, and this one is, has uh, addition on it, and those two have subtraction in them. I can also scroll uh, up a little bit like so. Uh, some of the numbers disappear, so that triangle is 7 times 9, or 7 and 9. And uh, if I scroll down, that 7 disappears, and this one is just says uh, size A, and it's 20 and 25. So I'm going to work with these two triangles and give you an example of how the calculation is done in writing, as well as how to do it on your calculator in one go in just seconds. So let's start with the first one that's based on addition so that side again is seven uh, that didn't work it much better so what this formula says is the following take, take one of the numbers seven and then square it and then write it down to nine take the length of the other side that was nine square that number and write it down. And then you have to add, you have to calculate the sum of the squares. That's what this is called. So I'm gonna write the plus symbol there as well. I know that's kind of, that's a apprentice math special here. So either which way, one plus nine, here is that one. So the sum of the squares is 130. And then in the last step, you're calculating the square root of 130, which on a handy dandy calculator is that number 11.4. That's it. Now, how you do it on a calculator is uh, fairly straightforward. And is gonna be making your calculation lightning fast because you don't need the knowledge of uh, that there is a 49 and then there's an 81. You don't really need to know those numbers. You just need the final answer, 11.4. So this is what you do. On a calculator, there is a second function button looking like this. When you press it, that's, that's all that happens. So you press second function. And then the next button is this one. You can call it the X2 button or whatever it's kind of worn out. It's there and it's squaring things. And you can see how the square root, cubing and cube root and whatever those are. So second function, open the square root button. Next thing you do is open bracket. Essentially what we're doing is we're making a bracket around this. Because otherwise the calculator is only going to calculate the square root of the first number and then adding the square of the second number to not good. So we need a bracket because calculator is not going to know it. The open bracket is right around here. So open bracket 7, just a 7. Next button is this one for real without the second function. So like, oopsie, forgot, start again. Second function, that one, open bracket, seven squared, there. That's how we're looking so far. Plus nine squared. So I'm going plus nine squared. Then we need to close that bracket because we're done entering this middle portion here so close that bracket and then equals and when i press equals i better see 11.4 on the screen alas it is 11.4 and yeah so in this calculation, we uh, we don't see on the calculator the 49, we don't see the 81, it's all disappeared. Nobody needs to know those numbers. It, all you need is the 11.4, and that's what you're getting out of the calculator. So that's how this looks like. 
Now, let's do the second triangle and uh, its calculator entry. So this first one was the sum of the squares and this is gonna be the difference of squares. Now in algebra, difference of squares is a theme or a topic very important. That's all I'm saying about it. And I'm uh, not gonna deal with the geometry, how the squares, where the squares are or whatever. We're just crunching the numbers for now. So otherwise the video is gonna be too long. So we start with H hypotenuse in either one of these subtraction uh, variations of the formula. So that one reads 25. So let's do that. 25 squared. And that number is 625. Next one is 20. Square that number, that's 400. That's an easy number. Then we need to calculate the difference of the squares. And it's 225. Then we need to square root that number. And we divide, and it's exactly 15. That's it, it's a round number. Nice. So, square root of 225. So, how do we enter all of this into the calculator without, uh, without really noting like the 625 or the 400? Because we don't really need those numbers. Very similar. Just going to get rid of all of this and just going to print it and it gets entered. Second function button first this x2 button to open the square root function so second function x2 and open bracket that's what i have so far i'm gonna put the open bracket there then you have to start with the hypotenuse that's not negotiable in both of these versions it doesn't matter whether it's the b number or the a number that's uh, also missing it's the same thing so 25 and square it minus so I'm going 25 squared minus enter 20 and press the x2 button so that's looking like 20 and the x2 button without a second function close that bracket When you press equals, then you better see 15 here. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're good. So that's how this is entered on a calculator. And you can get these calculations done like one triangle problem. Realistically, this calculator entry, when you practice it, should take you something like 10 seconds to solve one of these triangles. And they can be decimals or fractions, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's 10 to 20 seconds to solve one of these triangles as it's presented in our math like so.